Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve the application has failed to start because its side-by-side -side configuration is incorrect. So hopefully it should be a pretty straightforward tutorial and without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we are going to start by opening up the start menu just by left-clicking on the start button one time. You want to type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match should come back with regedit. You want to right click on that. And then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. Now into the registry editor, you want to expand the H key local machine subfolder. So either double click on it or left click on the little arrow next to it to expand. You want to do the same thing for software. Microsoft. And then you want to go down to Windows. And you can follow the path on the top here as well. So I'm going to expand Windows. Current version, you want to expand that one. And then you want to go to side by side, expand that one as well, expand the winners, and now you want to look for something that has an x86 in front, so we're going to have to scroll down a little ways, so x86 underscore policy. It's going to be the first part of the name we're looking for. And then you want to locate the x86 underscore policy dot 9.0 dot Microsoft dot VC 90 dot CRT. And then that should be pretty unique from this list here. So you can see the one that I've selected. You want to expand that and then left click on 9.0. Now on the right side, you want to look for the key that says default and then the two underneath so the default data should match the highest numbered one under here so if it does not so you can see 9415 is the highest one compared to the 6161 so assuming this is incorrect you just double click on default and you can just type in whatever the highest number of these two are and you just want to make sure again that's the exact same as whatever the highest number of these two are. So default should match the highest one of these two. It's very important. I just wanted to really make that clear. So we'll close out of here. We're we'll just restarting the computer. Hopefully that does resolve the problem. Another thing you can go try and do would be to open up the web browser. doesn't matter which one, but we want to go and download some Microsoft Visual C++ runtime. So, C++ redistributable package. So, just type in, like I said, Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable, and then hit enter. You want to select the one for Visual Studio 2015. If you have another one that you know that you're missing, you should just go ahead and download that one. I'm going to use the 2015 one. Select language. I'm going to select language. I'm going to click download. Make sure you select the correct one. So either you're running a 32-bit operating system, which is going to be the 86 download, or a 64-bit operating system, which is going to be the time 64 download. And then you just want to left click on next. Should begin the download process. It might take a moment. It's about 13 megabytes, at least the 2015 redistributable, which they're still currently updating. So if you're in Windows Update or whatnot, it might show 2017. That just means they've been putting updates on top of the 15 version. So once it's done downloading, I'm just going to left click on it one time to run it. You can minimize out your web browser. Once you go through the end user license agreement, 
check mark in this box and then install. If you receive a user account control prompt, left click on yes. Pretty self-explanatory from this point forward. Should say setup successful, click on close. Again, suggest restarting your computer and hopefully your issue has been resolved. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. Do I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.